Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, Claudia 13 here. I'll be continuing some more time spinner today. Um, hope everyone's doing okay. And let's get started. This time I don't think I'm going to have any uh, sort of weird visual issues. <laughs> okay, continue. Yeah, I'm really liking this game. Um... And like I said, it's more of like one of my filler games right now until February starts up. What just happened? It froze. Awesome. Great start. Nope, it works now. What is going on? Okay, that <laughs> that was weird. All right, cool. I don't even remember what I was doing, honestly. Don't even remember. Cause the last time I streamed, it was Apex, so I'm definitely like not. <laughs> what was I doing? It hasn't even been that long, and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I know I'm in the the past. I don't remember if I have to go to the um the, what is it, the present? I know I want to level up this owl though. Because of his wind magic, it's pretty cool. Oh, good grief. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to stream today, um, my fiance is actually napping because she just got her second COVID vaccine dose, so she's like, um, she's got the chills and she's, um, feeling a tad, I wouldn't say under the weather, but off. Oh, we can go here now, okay. I'm sure this is gonna be fun. I met those two succubus, uh, or succubi. No, succubus and incubus, and they're like, oh, I can climb the rocks, that's killer. I knew it was going to come into play. But yeah, I will be starting Sly Cooper. Um, prob depending on... I would imagine Monday I'm probably going to start Sly Cooper. I got to figure out what... Um, wait, is that this lower and raise the drawbridge? That's weird. But why would you have... Why would you have access to that? <laughs> Drop those rocks. Dude! Oh, you suck. Okay. But I can't get back up there now. I want those goodies. I'll get up there somehow. Oh shit. But you knock that shit off. Yeah, I'll be starting Sly Cooper on Monday. Um probably, you know, usual time, either eleven AM Eastern time or four PM Eastern time. I'll clarify on Facebook later. I gotta figure out what her schedule is. Damn it. Let's switch to something else, shall we? I really like the fire. I don't know why. Ow, holy crap. Yeah, I'm still pretty pumped that I got Apex to stream as well as it did. Um, I'll definitely be streaming more of that in the future. It'll be one of those uh, late month filler games. I did boot up Sly Cooper to see, make sure it would work. Like, I did try... Um, I'm glad I did, too, because the audio was messing with me. So I had to fix the gain on that, so it's not, like, buzzing. Because I have noticed in the past there is slight buzzing if I have the gain up too high. Probably something you guys might not notice, or if you do, you don't say anything about it. But, um... Definitely something I notice. <laughs> Oh, good grief! <laughs> I was gonna say, he's gonna hurt me a lot. 
Oh, crap. Yeah, if you're watching today, thanks for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're new here, feel free to follow me on Facebook or like the stream or share the stream. That way you'll know if I go live and it helps me out. Um, thank you very much. I stream about two to three times a week. Retro and current day releases as well. So all sorts of good stuff. Video game goodness. What are you? Take a piece of lore. Ah. I did want to come in the stream a little bit this weekend, at least. At least a couple hours. Like I said, she's resting, so... Oh! That hurts so freaking bad. Ocean? I'm not going to use a bunch of them, just one for now. You bitch! Oh my god. Stop knocking me in the other screen! Um, I downloaded a game yesterday. I haven't tried it yet, but it's by a publisher I like who actually made the game Shovel Knight, um, Yacht Club Games, and it's called Cyber Shadow. Made by one dude. It looks awesome. It's like, um... If Ninja Gaiden were released today. Oh, thanks for liking, man. I appreciate it. Oh, crap. Hey, Drew, what's going on? Sweet. How's it going? He's playing Castle Crashers already, huh? Even I'm like... I, I, I would say I'm not awful at the game, but it definitely is a hard one to master just because of, like, the movement of characters. I do enjoy it quite a bit, though. I kind of want to get it on the Switch just so I can have it portably. Crap. I'm out of magic. No! It's funny, the music right now is reminding me, like, huge of Illusion of Gaia. Like, really bad. <laughs> I don't know why. Or, like, Secret of Evermore. Oh! Stupid thing. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad he likes it. It's, it's a pretty funny game. Very comical. What are you? Iron orb, a nerve of pure iron that crushes foes. Another orby? I didn't know there were others. What do you do? Blade blue. I want to know. It's hammers! That's awesome! Yeah, this game is on Steam. Um, it's also... It's on Switch as well. I have it physically on Switch. You can download it as well. Um, it's on PlayStation 4 as well. Um, great game. Made by a very small development team. Obviously with a huge love for the 16-bit style. Crap. And there's some, like, Mega Man X elements in there. Like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Lots of Symphony of the Night sort of stuff. Um, keep getting hurt real bad. But that is the name of the game, I guess. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks. It's not bad. It's like not a bad priced game. Ooh, a drop. I love drops. 
pointy hat is better in some regards. So not as good. I'd rather have higher two stats than one stat. Can you, uh... Do me a favor, Nightman, and die, please? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, man. Um, I'll end up playing a lot of stuff that, like, you may have not seen or heard of just because... I don't know, I kind of I kind of like to look around now, like quite a bit when it comes to games. I like indie games more than I like a lot of like the AAA stuff now. Cuz it I feel like if you're an indie game fan now, like you were a Super Nintendo huge Super Nintendo fan back in the day because they really try to like poke pull at those heartstrings. There's a couple others coming out too that I'll end up getting and playing. Plus, you're not going to pay $60 for something like this. I mean, sometimes they do charge something like that if they're doing, like, a physical release of it. But it's hardly ever um, that expensive. What did I just do? Hey, Brandon, what's going on, man? Uh... That's a picture of a dog. That's awesome. It's <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Oh, my. I'm just getting, like, all the money. Like, I'm going to have way too much money by the end of this playthrough. Like I said, I've never played this before, so this is as much of a blind playthrough for me as it is for you guys. Oh, bird! I don't know what he's going to do, and I don't want to find out. Is that an egg? Oh! Shavor hatchling. Max Aura up. Ugh. Oh, clock Tower vibes of uh, Symphony of the Night right now. No, well, Clock Tower? Maybe Clock Tower. Maybe Library. Even though, like, it's Library music, not, um... Not Clock Tower music. I'm gonna have to play that eventually, too. But, yep. I'm um, starting Sly Cooper on Monday. I've never played it, but I did watch a little bit of gameplay, and it does look quite awesome. I'm sure I'll enjoy that. Level up. So satisfying. Everything is like, you found a thing, you found a thing. <laughs> um, PC. So I'm playing this on Steam. There is lore and stuff. I was reading it in the first part, but um, I tend to only read out the memories now because I feel like it's the most important. There is quite a story, actually. It's just mostly lore-related. Um, lots of stuff about time messengers and, like, how they they leave their clan and then come back in a different timeline and, like, the people they might have married and stuff, like, don't remember them and, like, all sorts of, like, sad, sad shit. <laughs> Pretty depressing, actually, but... Very fun to play. Symphony of the Night, I will be playing Symphony of the Night. Um, I have it on the PlayStation 4, like that remake version with um, Rondo of Blood. It is literally the best version of the game I have ever played, because it's just so crisp. Familiar sprite, a whimsical fey creature that specializes in healing magic. I like that. I like the dragon, too. Like... This is bad, because I, like, want to level up all of these <laughs> these familiars. But I like the griffin, because, like, it's an owl cat. <laughs> Let's try the sprite for a little bit, though. How much are you going to heal me? It better be enough. You better, better pull your weight, sprite. I don't understand. Okay. I was going to say, I don't understand this door, but... Seems like I've explored most of this area. Just bought it. <laughs> I didn't know you had Steam, man. I, I like that's cool. I'll have to friend you on there. Ugh. I think I have like um. 
like 40 or 50 wishlist games right now that are all like kind of Metroid style. <laughs> um, there's some on the, in there too, like uh, some farming stuff, but. Oh crap! Run of Blood is hard. Um, that collection that came out on the PS4, I actually platinumed both of those games. Not, not an easy task, especially because one of them is like going through a stage in Rondo of Blood without taking damage. I'm like, what the hell? And like I've said before, I'm not a huge trophy hunter. Just certain games are like meaningful to me, so I will try and attempt to get all the achievements. <laughs> but other than, more, more often than not, I don't really care that much. Yeah, get away from me, you wizard. Get out of here. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Switch is, like... That's a perfect system to get it on, because, like, <laughs> you can take it with you anywhere. And it'll play just as good, too. Poof. Are you gonna heal me, or... What's going on? Like, is it a slow heal? Are you, are you gonna do it? Yeah, there you go. You did it. Six health. Yay. I w it probably gets way better over time once you level her up some more. I want that, whatever that rose is. I can't get up there, though. Need a double jump or something. Maybe at some point. Let's uh switch to these axes. Those do a lot of damage. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. Yo, Brandon, how did your wife fall? Was she, like, did she, like, slip on ice or something? But look. Oh, my God. So satisfying. Yeah, man, have fun. See you later. Thanks for coming and watching. I want to get up there so bad. I'll have to go the other way. See you later, man. We'll talk soon. Oh. How do I get up there? Oh, uh, that sucks. Oh, I've done that. I've fallen on. I've fallen down stairs before and broken my tailbone. Not, not good times. I'm going back to that save point to get health. I think. Oops, friggin'. I just gotta make it back to that save point. I love how my cousin comes in to watch, sees the game, and goes, I bought it. <laughs> That's funny. I know what he likes. I know what kinds of games he likes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, remember, I don't remember if I've told you, but uh, Alicia actually works at a hospital, so... And I used to, so, I mean, the same hospital. But she's actually a pharmacy tech, so... Oh, I know all about, you know, processes and whatever in the hospital now, and I know it can take quite a bit. Well, hopefully she's okay. Hopefully it's not too serious, you know? What the hell am I going? I'm at a loss for words. I know there might be a hidden wall around here, but I doubt it. Oh, come on. Give me some secrets. You know, this is the type of game, though, where I'll just, like, wander around until I find what I need to find. Birdie! I'm just trying to make sure that, like, I'm not... Can you zoom in this? No, it doesn't look like it. What was wrong with you? Why were you in the hospital? 
Is that why you were MIA, man? I was like wondering where you were. I, I streamed like a couple times and I was like, dude, Brandon usually watches. What's going on? A little concerned. I, I was like, maybe he's just like taking a little break from social media or whatever, which I could, I would totally understand. But. Where the hell am I supposed to go? This is the thing about a blind playthrough, folks. Uh, when you don't know where to go, it's just trial and error. Oh, where? Why is these little, like, demons so small? But all the other enemies are kind of massive. <laughs> What's going on here? Ouch, you... All right. Until I get like a double jump or whatever, I don't think I'm making more progress. Um, I'm gonna delete this marker. I don't know why I put that there. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out how to zoom in on shit. Oh nice, you got new meds. Yeah, I mean, I I hear you, man. I've been there. I mean, I'm I'm always there. Like, <laughs> it it doesn't go away, unfortunately. It's just how well you can cope with it. You know that, though. What is with these weird dog pictures? Yeah, it's true. That Like, that is this the essence of these games. It's like, you're lost. Find where you're supposed to go. Oh my god, this looks like the opening section of Symphony of the Night. Holy crap. Alright, well... Um... I don't remember... I did finish a quest where I'm supposed to do something. Let's uh, go back to... Like the area where the NPCs are, because I know I finished a quest. Hi, Lunai. You look distracted. Hmm, oh, just thinking about something Harustel said last night in bed. You share a bed with Harastel? Are you lovers? We have a loving relationship, yes, Harastel, anyway, it doesn't matter. He was angrily going on about how the Lakiami stranded us here to be consumed by the bleakness. And all I can think is, well, Valette did the same thing to them originally, banished them here to slowly die. Sure, but Valette isn't consorting with demons to kill everyone who pisses them off. Yeah, anyway, my priority is just keeping everyone alive. Speaking of, I'm trying to brew up an old remedy that the army uses. I think it'll help that young man he keeps slipping into unconsciousness. I don't have the mushrooms we always use. The soldiers used to gather them from mushroom towers in the caves. If you find something for me, about two would do it. Your thing. Thank you. Oh, watch out. The Harastel once told me they emit dangerous spores when disturbed. Those mushrooms suck. There's always a catch, isn't there? I know exactly where that is, too. Um, not her. Um, anything that's... Red is, like save points purple is the um like teleport points like i can teleport to any purple point um there's also a present and a past and i'm assuming there's going to be a future at the some at some point as well because you travel through time um but each each timeline has a different color for the map blue is the past present is purple and then um Anywhere I haven't been, you'll it's just like Metroid, it's kinda like blanked off here. Anything with like white walls, I don't think you can like pass, like this area over here. So it's very um similar in that way. What's going on here? I finished that quest. The woods are quiet. The plant bats have been culled as requested. Thank you, you'd make a good soldier. Hey, I need a safe place to sleep too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um that they even incorporated time travel. So you're, I mean, that's the concept. I mean, that's why it's called Time Spinner, but very, very cool regardless as a mechanic. So you're from Villette? Yes, born and raised, trained to be an officer as soon as my magical capabilities were discovered. You have magic too? Of course, Villette is a meritocracy, meritocracy of the magical and a celebration of our abilities to help the worlds. And you're at war with Lockheed? The Lockheed are the outcasts of criminals of Villette. Sent here is an act of mercy over imprisonment or execution, which was clearly a mistake. Left to form their own society, they declared war against Valette, and so here we are. She is still surprising me how big she is. She's like almost like Amazonian. <laughs> and now they can sort with demons to defeat us. 
I know the Lock Ami to be cruel as well. It's why I'm here. And you are welcome to stay, Lunai. Operation Orange is done. What else do you have me do? Lunai, a word? What do you need? Lock Ami forces carry our troops here on the bleak world, and the demons make them truly dangerous. I mount attack to strike back and strengthen our position, but with so many of my unit dead or deserted, I cannot make a move while this camp is still in danger. Need me to kill more wildlife? <laughs> a greater threat than mere animals. In the caves beneath the forest live sirens. Their presence in the area is new. They may be aligned with the demons. They use similar tactics to both male and female lure in unsuspecting soldiers with their songs and beauty, thus posing a danger to even veteran soldiers. I would of course be able to deal with them myself, but I cannot leave the camp unattended. Sounds like a good challenge to see what I can do. So, sirens and... Um, what did he, what did he want me to do? Oh, those big mushrooms. Okay. I don't think the... I don't think that the quests have anything to do with getting items. I don't... Well, I mean, I, I like main items. Like, like, major items. Um, but... We will go to the Caves of Banishment, because that's where it wants me to go to do those two quests. Oh, Slimmy Slimes, I'm back. Ow. Okay. I do like the hammers quite a bit. Just a little, little bit slower. I think fire is still my favorite, though. I, I like how it kind of covers both the bottom of your character and the top. Get over here. Holy crap. I can hit them with this. And they're gone, just like that. Well, man, I'm glad you're out of the hospital. That's good. That's a good thing. That gave me absolutely nothing. What the hell? That's what I'm supposed to kill. Oh, I know what I need. Um, there was a merchant in the future that will sell me a ring that will increase my... Or, uh, was it a ring? It'll increase my luck, and I kind of want that. That would make these quests a whole lot easier, so I'm actually going to go get that now. Then it's been a while since I've been to the present, so... Um, like, since, you know, it seems like items and quests rely on drop luck, like, kind of like Symphony of the Night. Um, I feel like that would be beneficial. Yeah, man, no problem. No problemo. I am liking how it heals me a little bit, that, uh, sprite. Probably keep, uh, her on for a while. Okay, so... I think the shop is right here. Like, up on the left. I should turn on my light so you guys can actually see me a little bit better. I always forget. Sometimes I, like, forget to turn that thing on. I mean, it is what it is right now. It's a it's pretty cheap light. Eventually, I'll get something better, and I'll mount it on top of my monitor or some shit. But right now, this is what I got. Kyle, welcome back to the Merchant's Crow. Shiny stuff emporium. Shiny stuff emporium. This reminds me of the, um... There's a bird that runs the shop in Twilight Princess Zelda. And, uh, it's like a weird... It runs like an oil shop. And you have, like, deposit rupees into, like, this little box to pay him. It's kind of funny. But this this uh this crow seems like sentient. <laughs> the bird in Twilight Princess is like more of a bird. <laughs> All right, so yeah, ancient coin. Does that just do I have to equip this or just having it gives me that benefit? Cause that's killer. Um. Nope, it's an accessory. That's sweet. Alright, so luck is now up. Things are going to drop way more often. Oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Let's go check out over here. Um, 
I haven't explored... I don't think you can access a lot of this area yet because of um, story progression. So, I think there's definitely... You know, obviously you can't open that. That's like... What was that? The V card key? I kind of want to know what's all... Eh, that's why, because I can't get over there. That's one of the memories, too. Damn you. I need, like, a dash or something. There's just certain areas you can't go to yet. But I am going to look around a little bit more here. Um, before we go back. Just because. It does look like you can go down and then off to the left a bit more. What's going on here, my dude? Welcome back. Is there anything I can help you with? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'm looking for information about Lockheed's history. Wonderful. I just love meeting other people who take an active interest in history. No one seems to care about our past anymore. It's so sad. I need a drink of water. I actually realized if I moved my camera, um, my face cam down to the bottom left corner. You guys wouldn't see as much of me playing the game, so I'm gonna have to just leave it up here, which is fine. Um, but I'd rather you see more of the action of the game than some of the text. I can read the text for you. So it's like, is there a time period you're most interested in? Actually, yes. I hear that there was a great war a thousand years ago. Do you have anything about that? Oh, the War of the Sisters. That's my favorite era, too. Unfortunately, we've had to lock down access to any information on that. A decree from the Emperor himself. Oh, no. Hmm. I feel like he knows what's going on. <laughs> I I just love history so much. Is there really nothing you can do to help? Well, it's between you and me. I think the lockdown is ridiculous. Knowledge should be made available for everyone. Tell you what, I'll give you the key card to the room where the information is being kept. Just promise that you won't tell anyone. I could lose my job or worse. Well, thank you so much. Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. Wonderful, here's the key card. The room is on the second floor to your right. Is that, is that the V key card? Oh, no shit. You card for librarians. Allows access to restricted room in the library. I thought I was going to get that, like, way later. <laughs> but apparently not. Apparently now. Um, before we... No. Well, I don't think it was going to hurt us to go there. Unless it leads to a whole other area that I don't understand. But... Um, if it does... I want to go and explore some of the other area down on the lower left of the map here in the present, but that can wait for the moment. Ooh. Valette, the War of the Sisters. Lockheed's bitter rival, Valette, was ruled by a mad despot who wished to control Lockheed's resources. Sounds familiar. In 38 AE, after Lockheed rebelled against Valette's oppression, they took control of the portal between worlds and built a device that would destroy it forever and destroy all of Valette with it. This harrowing but necessary act by Queen Elana the Great, founder of the Lockheed Empire, ended Valette's evil forever and won the War of the Sisters for Lockheed, beginning a new golden era. Oh. That's not good. So there's like a war that happens, pretty much. Um, well, it was a moon orbiting the gas giant planet of Korandar and was one of the two life-bearing planets in the Parat Anka solar system. The planet had a unique atmosphere called Plasmosphere, which is full of plasma, a unique type of radiation. In 38 AE, at the climax of the War of the Sisters, the planet was destroyed. Today, the remains of the planet can still be seen in Lockheed Sky, its magenta-colored rings surrounding Korandar. There is more. Um, I read that already. Nubius Rovia has been the ruler of the Empire of Lachium since 1045 AE. The Great Emperor's reign oversees not only the homeworld of Lachium, but the many habitable exoplanets that have been discovered and colonized throughout the Ernia galaxy. Nubius was born in Vandegre, Metropolis, as the only child to Emperor Leonius in 1013 AE. At a young age, he was possessed natural aptitude for magic and thus was privately educated and groomed to become a powerful warrior. As heir presumptive, Nubius began to take on leadership roles in the military when he came of age. In 1045 AE, Nubius followed traditional rites of succession, challenged his father to mortal combat. Being the victor, Nubius ascended to the throne. Under Nubius's rule, the empire has flourished more than it ever has before. 
Nadir is a small pastoral planet in the Ernia galaxy. The exoplanet was first discovered by a lucky scientist in 869 AE via high-powered telescopes. In 1032 AE, the Imperial spaceship Ambition made a successful voyage to Windaria but remained in orbit in order to study the planet and its civilization from afar. After several months of research, it was deemed prudent to make contact with intelligent inhabitants of the planet. The Windarians' natives proved to be peaceful, and eventually a successful trading agreement was established between Lockheed and Windaria. The Empire now freely trades technology with Windarians in exchange for their natural resources despite a few minor rebellions. The Empire's relationship with Windaria is considered to be very positive. Well, that's interesting considering what happened earlier. Um, <laughs> maybe it's not so positive. Well, that's cool. Like, I didn't know you could, like, see quest status stuff. <clears throat> letters, I'm not leading the, the letters, but I'll read, like, the stuff that I feel like... I might read more of this in the future as I get more of them, but, like, stuff we've already kind of read. Just, like, at different perspectives. Like, you get to see perspectives of, like, um, the people that are in the past, and now, like, people that are in the future and how it went down for them. It's weird. It's almost just weird to see different perspectives of war from two different nations. <clears throat> so, yeah, that was just information. So I'm actually going to head off down to the left. Because I don't think I've been to any of this area over here. These two. So I don't, I don't know if it's that I don't have access. I might not have access. But we'll find out. Just getting more and more money as we go. Over here. How the hell did I go over here? Oh, birds! I do like reading the notes and stuff. Like the like that is one thing I always do. Um, it's all it's all if like people want to hear me read, which you know, as you've seen and as I've seen, people actually like to hear my voice, which is surprising. So <laughs> that surprises me more than anything. So I will continue to read more lore and stuff. Dude, I can't wait for Resident Evil 8. I will, I'm so pumped. <laughs> I will definitely be streaming that. <laughs> I can't wait. 7 was really good, too. Um, RE4, I'm probably going to start doing the series relatively soon. And kind of like, since there's so many of them, it's going to take quite a while to go through them all. Um, even, even Felix, one of the followers, was asking if like I was going to go through all the Sly Cooper games at once, and I'm like... Well, I'm, I'm planning on going through them all. It just won't be, like, in succession. I'll probably play the first one, and I'll come back to the others later. But I will eventually get to all of them. Village? Yeah, it looks so good. I can't wait. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that it's first person, like, seven. It just looks so good. It has, like, the mansion aesthetic of, like, um some of the older ones. It kind of reminds me if if you mix Resident Evil 7 with Resident Evil 4, that's what we, we, you'd get <laughs> is Resident Evil 8. Um, they are remaking 4, and I hope they do I hope they do it justice. I mean, I'll play it anyway cuz I love the remake of 2. But um I can't wait to see what the remake of 4 looks like. But everyone's going crazy over the main villainess right now. She's like uh, this eight foot tall vampire woman, and she wears like this white dress, and she's got she's like stacked, which is funny. Um, and, and she's just super powerful looking. She's like Mister X, only she's like or like Nemesis, only it's a woman. And um, the internet is losing their minds over her because like the memes are real for her right now. <laughs> her name's like uh, Lady Dimitrescu. And it is it has been amazing watching all the memes and shit. <laughs> Can you get over here, bird a thing? Bird head tank thing? Come on. No, don't hit him, don't hit him. There we go. Can I make that? Damn it, that's not close enough. Damn it! You freaking bird. What a what a eh, I need more sand. They're funny. You you like they revealed the the game and the internet exploded. We, like, everyone wants vampire mommy to step on them. That's like basically what they're talking about. It's hilarious. No, it's cool to see a female villain though, like a powerful female villain. That's the cool thing that I like about it. Um, since when do you really see like a powerful female villain in a Resident Evil game? Not really. Like, 
there are female villains, but they're not like they're not threatening. Give me like Max Sand or whatever over here. All right, come on you, come on you. No 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 no! I missed. Are you kidding me? You only have so much time you can stop before it, like, you know, ends. Come here, you. Let me up here. Yeah, man. No problem. What the hell is that thing? It's like a creepy bird. That's what happens when you tag... You know, the nice thing about tagging any Metroidvania game on Twitter before you go live is that Metroidvania bot retweets it no matter what, <laughs> which is nice. Because um, that means more people will see it, which uh, hopefully means more exposure, <laughs> which is good. The bigger the stream gets, the more people I get to meet, and the more fun it gets, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, if you're new here and you like what you watch, you like my commentary, feel free to follow me on Facebook, like the stream, or share the stream. That way you'll help out me and the stream, and you'll know when I go live. Thank you very much, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Damn it. You know, I'm like, let's go off and look this way. I mean, like, I haven't really found anywhere I can progress yet. Um... I still have a problem with these, like, weird sort of... Synthetic plume. Luck? Yes, absolutely. The more luck we have, the better off the luck we have. <laughs> I don't like anything that's happening right now. So I have this flamethrower spell now. Can that burn those? I would love it. That'd be great. I hope it's not like Axiom Verge where you need like a um, a penetrating, like, you can like kind of phase through walls. I mean, luckily everything pretty much is uh, destroyed in one hit now. Oh, those give me sand? I had no idea. News to me. I'm gonna know now. Can I, like... I have the spell for the fire. Can that burn those roots? I mean, maybe not every item, like, major item is gonna be a progression item. Maybe, like, some quest items like that fire spell are gonna be something you need. I'm not sure. We will find out. Damn it. Foiled again. Stupid bird. At least she's going up levels. That's a good thing. Like, can I burn this? No. But doesn't that make sense? Doesn't that feel like that would work? <laughs> Apparently, uh, no. <laughs> Apparently you lose. Good day, sir. That's pretty much what I just saw. <laughs> oh. More synthetic plumes. going this way, and it's not the way I'm supposed to go. What is down here? Oh, that hurts. What's going on over here? Nothing? Okay. Well, then. It's about what I expected. I mean, we're at a point now where I'm not taking a lot of damage. Things are just kind of poking me. But it doesn't make it any less like I feel like I'm not taking damage just because she's like, Ugh! 
Uh, what's over here? I've already been here, but... Oh well. Level up. Nothing. I mean, the more we look around and the more we look for places to go, the more experience I'm going to get anyway, and, you know, that helps quite a bit, so... Oh yeah, up there. Oh, I forgot about that. Mind refresh. Yeah, everybody's dropping stuff now. This is great. What's going on down here? No, I can't. I, I need, like, a, there's got to be a double jump or some shit. Get over here, you, uh, bird head. These are roots, from what I remember. Damn it! So, what's, uh... Anything with, like... I should really, honestly, I'm thinking about starting to mark stuff off. Anything with, like, roots that I can't pass right here, I'm going to put a, um... Can I put a green one there? Put a green one there. That's for roots. Put a green one there. That's for roots. Um... Double jump will be blue. So that way, um, anywhere I can't go, I won't try to retry to get there. I don't know what's over here. I don't remember going over here. I know I can't access th this area, and I don't remember why. I mean, I don't care anyway. We're like, like I said, going up levels, that's a good thing. Um... Getting stuff from enemies, that's a good thing. Especially if I'm picking up, like, potions and shit. Bing. Bing, ling, ling. Um, let's do another one here. Anything with roots, I want to know where to come back to. And the marker system seems like it's stupidly useful like it is in most of these games. Why couldn't I go here? What's what's the uh what's the reasoning behind that? Oh yeah, death beams. Damn, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get in there and find the Emperor. Arg, now what? Time, Lunai, change time. Yeah, if the Lakami don't win the war a thousand years ago, maybe they won't be as strong now. That's a cool concept. And I can come back with those time gates and get my revenge while he's weak. This is obviously like Torian <laughs> in <laughs> Super Metroid. Like, don't come back here till later. <laughs> no, and that's a different gate, the B gate. So I think everything at this point in time is explored here, which is good because uh, now I can focus on the past, which I should really um, obviously go back to the. Caves of Banishment, I think they're called. Handle this. Freaking slimes, holy crap. Nah, I'm loving this game though. Like, I love the music, I love the graphics, like... Once again, checking all the boxes for me. It's funny, because I like to own... When I bought this game on Steam, I was like, oh, I'll just buy it on Steam. And then when they did a physical copy of it on Switch, I double-dipped. And then I was like, well... I think I got it free on PS3 through PlayStation Network. Um, but... I definitely am glad I bought the physical copy, because I do like to own physical copies of certain games. And now that I've started playing this one, this is definitely one of those. Can you give me the mushroom I need? I'm poisoned. I suck. Uh, what's going on here? I can't, obviously, can't do anything with this. 
So I need like, there's a wyvern tail. Nice. I need a couple of those. Wait, do I have enough now? I guess so. Um, still gotta kill those sirens. To do for the wyvern tail. There we go, sirens. Silver ore. What does silver ore do? I compare silver ore used by goldsmiths to make jewelry. Okay. What was it, 10 of these sirens I gotta kill? Mm. I kinda like how this quests. It's neat. Kinda reminds me of Bloodstained a little bit in that way. Level up. I mean, now I just have to get those mushrooms from that, uh, the big red mushrooms. But for some reason, they weren't dropping. Which is bullshit. Sweet. What are you? Siren Inc.? Like, what does everything do? Well, I can collect from Mutable Siren. Craft stuff? There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep her equipped for like um, the familiar sprite equipped for a while just to get that heal better. Cause that could be huge later on. Um, I still like the Griffin. The dragon's cool too. I kind of want to level up all of them to be honest. I don't know when they max out, but I remember in Symphony of the Night it was like something like level 10 or something like that. Maybe 20, I, f I think. It's been a little while since I played. That's a very specific detail too. <laughs> Mushroom Tower. I just need the mushroom to drop the mushroom. I could do this. Like, this is how I used to level in um, Symphony of the Night. Just go back in the screen and make it drop. That it? Ended out. That's not what I want. Medical mushrooms. Two mushrooms from the caves. I've got one, really? Nice. Just five quests per person? At least it's telling me that. That's cool. Report back. Report back. Report back. Okie dokie. I will get a mushroom. It will happen. <laughs> I love how the freaking sprite keeps going over to like bitch slap the mushroom. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Oh, I love it. What if I use blade? Is there anything different like about what I use? I mean, this is the right enemy. Just needed to... It, it, that is the right mushroom, correct? Is it just taking a while to drop? Yeah, the caves. Nice. I mean, I'm not going to complain. 
level up is level up. <laughs> Ether. Yeah, I really like the hammers. Quite a bit. They have good range. I think they have more range than the swords. You got him in two whacks. Drop the freaking mushroom. That's money. Must have. So close. <clears throat> I don't want to get poisoned. It's such a waste of resource. There it is! I knew it! <laughs> yeah! We did it. Let's get the hell out. <laughs> You know, I was like, I should really hit that. I'm gonna hit that save point over here. A little walk back's not gonna kill us. Not that far. Nice. <clears throat> I gotta make sure I get the thumbnail for this. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail though. Like I sometimes I'll do the title screen, but it's like there's so much cool stuff in this, but I'm like, see if I can get one right here. Yeah, I like that. I like it. That one's cool too. I like that one too. Let's do that one. Look at them later. I don't know. I enjoy making thumbnails. Um, I try to make them at least a little bit interesting. Um, I feel like they bring out more of the video too. Plus, I like to go for a certain aesthetic on my page. Like, I like things to be organized, obviously. Basically, it makes it easier for if people want to watch my VODs and stuff. pretty happy with my page so far, honestly. Um, I feel like I've, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I've done a pretty decent job at organizing stuff. Doink. Alright. What do we got? Well, I managed to kill some of the sirens. You weren't kidding about their beauty. Excellent. With that done, I can breathe easier about the safety of my soldiers. Now to ready an attack plan. With so few men, and one apparently very capable woman, Lunai. Iron Sword Tie is completed. Okay, we just keep doing quests, I guess, for now. Lunai, it's time to make a strike against the Lakiami. Even without support from Bolette, we must keep fighting this war. I would have you defeat some of the Lakiami soldiers, thin their ranks, and let them know that they can't simply get rid of us. Find their shield knights and archers, strike them, strike back. All right. Cool, that's easy. I know where those are. I have your mushrooms. You weren't kidding about those spores. Are you okay? 
I'll be fine. Let me brew these up. Give them to the dude. Shh, lie still. You're still very weak. Can you hear me? Can you understand me? Don't worry. Try, don't try to speak. Your throat is extremely raw. The bleakness has hit you hard. Go back to sleepies. Thanks, Unai. I think he'll survive. Medical mushrooms. Nice. Rameda? Hmm. Oh, hi, Lunai. I'm glad you stopped by. I've been thinking. I've been here the whole time. I've been thinking if I can ease the bleakness a bit, even temporarily, it might help me treat some of the underlying Ill health issues that are making it so bad for this man. He's not getting much better. In the caves where we first came through the portal, I remember seeing some plasma crystals. I'm not sure how effective they'll be for medical purposes compared to the real plasma, but it's worth a shot. You want me to get one for you? If you would, it's too dangerous for me to. Yeah, I got it. No problem. Boop 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 boop. boop. Do all the things. Make sure you do them all. <laughs> Hungry, hurt, lonely? Let me, let me know what you need. Lonely. He's like, I'm offering my services. Um, He doesn't really have much that I need right now. Take another endo. Is there a max you can have? Oh yeah, it's nine. Jerky. Fried Shavor. I was gonna say, oh, I'm wearing one. Okay. Don't sell those. That thing is awesome. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't even think about it. God, all I get is Twitch notifications now, like, all the time. Luna, welcome back. Did you find anything? It's mostly from, like, people I watch on Twitch. Luna, welcome back. Did you find anything? No list. I don't know how to say this. Elana destroys Valette, the whole planet. <laughs> what? There's nothing left. It's gone. Now, Lockheed destroys. Can you stop them? But I don't. <laughs> Luna, please, you have to stop them. So many people will die. Can't you do something? I don't know what I can... I can try, but the list, the file said, it said Lackian was right to do that. That Valette was ruled by a mad dictator who had to be stopped. Of course, they'd say they were in the right. It's the victor who's right's history. So it just lied about everything? No. There is some truth to what the file said. Now tell me about it. Look, I, I was never part of Harastel's unit. I actually left the Valettan army a long time ago. I was an archer. They conscripted me. I tried so hard to be who they wanted me to be, but I never really fit in. Looking back, it was like I spent everything trying to outrun who I really was. Eventually, I actually ran. Emperor Vol Terillus of Valette is not a kind man, nor is the empire he's building. I couldn't bring myself to agree with his methods, couldn't keep fighting for what cause that cause. I couldn't accept the way Valette has treated the Lakiemi, the way the bleakness hurts them on this world. And I wasn't happy with who I was turning into. Now, I'm glad you ran. After that, I took up alchemy to find myself and hopefully find a way to fix the bleakness. I came to Lockheed to help support, help both sides heal. That was good of you, but Lockheed's still the enemy here, aren't they? At least they're my enemy. They chased my clan for generations. In my time, they killed my family, my friends. I can't just forgive that. Luna, I understand how you feel. They have done terrible things here as well. It's true, but it's never really that simple. So everyone is terrible and deserves to have their planet destroyed? No, Valette has done some bad things, but no one deserves that. Which is why you have to stop them. Please, Lunai, millions of lives are at stake. Don't worry, I will stop the Lakiami. It's what I came here to do. Thank you. Please remember, it's not as simple as we want to make it. They don't all deserve death, either. You have so much compassion. I wish I could afford to be like that. What's next? Lunai, I've been thinking about what you found about Valette. That it gets destroyed? Yes, if Valette's gone and the Lakiemi continue living here for a thousand years, they must have cured the bleakness, right? Otherwise, how would they have survived? Uh, I guess so. If they've cured it, you could find out how, and then I can finally do something about it. Sure, Nell, I'll do what I can. Probably won't be... Probably won't just be in the li that library, but maybe the facility where I found the Time Spinner would have records. Interesting. What's all the way off to the left over there? I gotta start marking stuff here, too, because, like, I'm not... Um, I gotta keep track of stuff. 
There's no portal over there either, so I'm gonna have to walk it. Yep, I'm gonna have to walk it, which is fine. We got time. All we got is time. Get out of here, bird. Dude, the hammers are stupid. <laughs> Oof. God, poison sucks. It's like everywhere in this game. Like, there's more poison here than like most of the enemies in Symphony of the Night. Get them away from me, holy crap. Poison Moth. Poison, get the F away from me. <laughs> oh yeah, it wants me to um, use one of them as a jump. But now they're stuck, so I can't do that. Shit. <sighs> you know, it's funny. Like, I... It's like too little too late when you see the freaking spores. Stop. There we go. That's such a cool mechanic. I love it. Chavor drumstick. Yummy. Bat. Yeah, what level is he up to now? Or she up to? The uh, sprite. Six, six, and five. They're not all leveling up at once, are they? That would be pretty cool. I think it's just how long they've been out. Like, after a certain amount of enemies, they go up. I do notice certain enemies are um, strong and weak to certain... Uh, Orbs, which is kind of cool. Hammer it is. I'm assuming eventually you get a way to go underwater. Should uh, mark this. You know, I should have used. Um, I'm gonna use blue for water, and I'm actually gonna use. Gray for double jump. Trying to mark stuff off so I like know. <clears throat> Water. Water. I'm assuming that's also water. That's probably also water as well. But it will keep me kind of focused on what's going on. Oh, yeah, it's water. And I just realized it's the same map, just different, which is pretty neat. Oh, come on, you're so close. There we go. Oh, yeah, the roots haven't grown yet. That's so cool. Definitely some uh, ocarina, not ocarina. Oracle of Ages and Seasons vibes from, like, Zelda, where, like, where you go to different times and things change. I think that's cool. Stop it, you bird. You listen to me when I'm talking to you, bird. Oh, big birdie! 
that breathes blue fire. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't know if the birds are weak against anything or not. Maybe the blue orbs, but those are not equipped right now. Ow. <laughs> Stop it. What's going on up here? Elemental beads. Ooh, that's the ones that can level up stuff. Those must be kind of rare to find. I say rare, but like, probably a little bit harder to find. Poof. Oh yeah, water. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Can you go through this? No. But you can go down there. Like, what? I do kind of enjoy the way she swims. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, I don't want to be in the water. <laughs> that bug just committed suicide. That was disturbing. Just flew right into the water. What is going on right here? Why can I walk on those? Alright, so there's like nothing over here? I'm assuming that's water as well. <laughs> we should go back over there and kill some soldiers and stuff. What's going on in that lower area? Like, I'm just trying to find like places I haven't been to yet. Give me that. Max sand up. I want it. Give it to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get over here, you whatever you are. <laughs> Stop that. Breastplate better? Yes. Yeah, I see you dropping rocks on me like a ass. I want to see if there's anything up there, but I can access that place anyway. What's uh what's going on here? Is this a save point? <laughs> Why is it off to the right like that? Weird. Damn it. I missed my missed my opportunity. <laughs> it's like climb on this dude to get to where you need to go. <laughs> Ow. I mean, they don't hurt that much at this point. I think I'm just... She's like... She acts like she takes so much damage when she gets hit. Keep looking around. I feel like this is obviously the place we have to go next, and I'm just missing something. But, I mean, even in the meantime, we're completing more quests. So... That and going up more levels, which is always a welcome thing. Dude, those dudes are not even a problem anymore. It's kind of awesome. 
<clears throat> what am I missing? Potion. We're gonna go back through the whole area and just, like, see if I missed anything. It is clearly I must have. Antidote. We're getting so many drops now. It's not better. Why is the pointy hat better? That's weird. Yeah, we're just gonna go through the whole area again because why not? See what I missed. Apparently, uh, I missed something. Watch this. I walked right into a room and like had stuff that I uh, needed, like some sort of upgrade. And I just left the room like an idiot. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it's a little bit harder than that. Maybe it's something to do with the time um, where I have to like. Um, pause time to do a certain thing. Either way, whatever boss we run into next, we're going to be completely uh, probably over-leveled for. <laughs> Which I'm okay with. Can I, like... No, it's a wall. Why? 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 It's weird. Little... All clove up there. All right, back to the main hallway from Symphony of the Night again. This is so that hallway. He did that on purpose. <clears throat> you can tell he has a love for the game. I thought that gave me an option to open it. <laughs> Nope. Super bird. Assuming that this restores sand. Not what I'm looking for. You do so much damage. The hammers are so good. <laughs> I've already been here, too. I keep thinking this is like a hidden wall over here. Just like, right in this general area. Right here. You would think there would be one. It feels like there would be.
What, um... What am I supposed to... Tell me what I'm supposed to do here. Ouch. You and your weird arcing fireballs. I'm supposed to use him as a jumping mechanism, aren't I? Why would I not think of that? Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> of course, of course I'm an idiot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you live and learn, and then you find out where you need to go. But at least we accomplished a bunch of other things along the way. Um, what does the Chaos Rose do? Nondescript rose that can cure the chaos status effect. What the heck does chaos do? I really don't want to know what chaos does. That sounds like a status effect I don't want. <clears throat> yes, please. Always save. You know, the funny thing about these types of games is that when I'm, like, exploring an area, I will obviously go the other way to kind of, like... <laughs> I don't want to progress to the boss fight before I've found what I need. Like, any sort of upgrade that will help me out. I can't make it across there. So, until next time, Gadget. <laughs> Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, it, it's, it's about to go off. What, uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's them. Well, hello again, my delectable dear. I thought I smelled your sweet rage. But what do we owe this pleasure? Perhaps you finally come for our pleasure? Not that I don't like what I see, but no. I've come to stop you. How darling. How droll. You're planning on destroying Villette. You're per perpetuating this war. What, do you feed on pain and suffering? Just drama, my dear. We told you. Chaos, hatred, passion. You'd know something about that, wouldn't you? Well, it ends now. I can't have Lachian bolstered by demonic power. Not now, and not in a thousand years. Time to go. Is she asking us to dance? Or perhaps a menage a trois? I'm gonna beat some ass right now. That's what's gonna happen. Is it over already? No, it's not over. What is going on? This is chaos. What does chaos do? What does chaos do? I want to know. I'm curious. Now, is she immediately... He, he hits me and I immediately get it, so... Oh, so they're like puppets. That's interesting. It's like a theater. That's wicked cool. Not so cool, though. I mean, I have a ton of health right now, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, plenty of health, plenty of potions. Ow. I not? Oh, I can't stop time. That's what it. Or maybe it drains my time. Nice. And Dunzo. Poof. Well, that was a workout. I prefer to get my cardio in other ways. You may have defeated us for now, girl. But you haven't won. It was our dear Ilana that brought us here in the first place. Attracted us, and how attractive. The mob Asmodeus was her idea, sweet revenge for her dear Philia. Armies of our kind were her idea too. We're simply bystanders, really. Very pretty, bystanders. Alas, we must bid you farewell. But only for now, we'll always be in your dreams.
The Wakimi Queen really initiated all this? Unsurprising, I guess. There's still work to do then. But did stopping them do anything? Still weakened. The demons won't have as much hold anymore. Your speech is getting better. I grow stronger. As do you. Without the demons, a new power will have taken hold in your time. Maybe I'll be able to get farther, then, with Lockheed and Weaker. But it sounds like there's still work to do. If I'm going to save Valette, I have to destroy that Ma at the portal. And if I'm going to kill Nuvius, I'm going to have to stop Alana too. There are many things still to change. Time to get his attention. Nuvius will die. Succubus hairpin. Exquisite golden hair. Press A to jump higher in midair. Yes! Yes! Da, 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 da. I love her double jump. That's awesome. She just does a spin. That's cool. So graceful. Alright, so obviously you want to explore the places that I can double jump now. Because that's going to have new goodies to get. <clears throat> Yeah, sorry that it took so long to get there, even though it was right in front of my friggin' face. But like I said, at least we accomplished more. And, um, you know, I don't know where I'm going anyway, because like I said, blind playthrough. So, you know. Oh, it's a wizard! He's mad! He's real mad. <laughs> you know he's dead. Yeah, Max Sand up. Cool. <clears throat> Oh man, I love that double jump. Get up there, you! What did I miss over here? That is a door I cannot open. Wanna... Maybe, like, the story points in the past that I have yet to, uh, get to? So now that we've cleared off these areas, uh, double jumping wise, I'm gonna erase those markers. <clears throat> this another gate? Yeah! <clears throat> Remove... Remove... Waters are staying, obviously. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't remember what's right here. I think I'm gonna mark this with, like, a I should check it out thing. With the red one. Royal Towers, this is new. What's not, what's not, this seems like a new area. But we'll, uh, we'll explore for a little bit. See what we, see what we got here. Oh, it's a birdie! He's pissed. I might not have what I need to even get far in this area. Like, I can't even reach that with double. <clears throat> What's going on here? Can't get up higher than that. I should have used him as a uh, jumpable. A jumpable man. There we go. Okay. I do I need to be able to fly? <laughs> That's what it looked like to me. Oh, the crow's here too. This is the library. No shit. Welcome to the merchant's crow's shiny emporium stuff. Wait, what are you doing here? Pshaw. Like a little thing like time would keep me from being here and there. <laughs> How old are you? Age has nothing to do with it. We ascended past re restricting things like that eons ago. Now we go where we like, like the wind, whoosh. Now then, want to see my collection? I was wondering if we had, like, new stuff, but, uh... I'm gonna grab a couple of these. 
like Max. <laughs> that could be useful. I have plenty of... Well, I, eh, I don't want to waste all my money. I thought he would have, like, a new um, collection because it's a different time. I was going to say, imagine if I ta stopped time and he was still, like, active. That would be cool because he was basically talking about how he could, like... He's, he can break time or whatever, but... But a nice little Easter egg. Chivora Breast. <clears throat> no. Absolutely not. Rose. I have plenty of those already, thank you. Dude, what was that crap? Ooh, what do you drop? Plasma core. That's what they wanted. Be lying if I said he didn't hurt a little bit, though. Visor hat. Is that better? Yes, it is. <clears throat> so yeah, that's a uh, testament to getting that luck item. Uh, it is always helpful to get better luck in these games. <laughs> I am so going to be playing this again on the Switch, like, <laughs> later on. Um, like, for my own enjoyment, not on stream, but... I'm getting a lot of those now. A lot of enemies seem to be doing the chaos uh, status effect, too. The boss up here, too. Um, I'm going to say we can probably just beat his ass real quick. But I want to try and get those plasma cores first. So when I head back, I can just turn in that quest. Stop touching me. Freaking wizard. Ass wizard. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how long this game is, like I said, but so far I'm very impressed. Like, it's very enjoyable, lengthy. I don't remember how many of those plasma cores I friggin' need. Freaking suck. Damn it. They're in a weird spot, too, so, like... There's one. What did it say? Three? I did, like I said, I did buy Cyber Shadow, so I want to play that on stream eventually. Uh, that'll be, that'll be a, at some point. That just came out on Switch, and I've been waiting for that game for a while, so. I think it came out on PC as well, but sometimes I just like to prefer things on the Switch because I can bring it with me. How many plasma cores does this ass need? No, I am. Plasma crystal from the caves. How the frig am I gonna get that? Okay. Interesting. What are you what are you doing up here, wizard? The chaos rose that I don't need. <clears throat> Max health. Appreciated. Wait a second. Something's off about up here. 
Imagine if there was like a reverse castle in this. That'd be nuts. Even though it wouldn't make much sense. <clears throat> Let's go beat this boss's ass just because. Maybe it'll get me some other new goodies. What's down here? I love when something looks like a hidden wall. Max sand, nice. Yeah, I fell. Oh well. But I do want to go over here. Hey, wizard. Asshole. Ball. Hey, that's Rose. I really don't need any more of those. <clears throat> Alright, let's go bad back up there. Beat the boss's ass. <clears throat> Yeah, he's starting to heal me for more, too, which is great. <clears throat> Seven. Yeah, I'm really curious to see, like, where they tap out level-wise. How many more orbs there are? <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to need those for later, so I'm just going to pick it up anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Zelda Link's Reawakening should be fun to replay, too. Like, I played that pretty much when it came out, but, like, I love Link's Awakening in general, so replaying the remake is not a big deal to me. In fact, um, I have been in wanting to play another Zelda on my channel, so that is the pick. I feel like it's a good pick. I mean, it's relatively new, so... For those of you who haven't seen it, at least you can kind of get a sneak peek if you wanted, or considering buying it. And if you haven't played Link's Awakening, well, it's a great Zelda, so definitely worth the watch and worth the purchase as well. Right, let's go beat this boss's ass now. Enough, enough fooling around. Is it wrong that it's super satisfying to do this double jump? So you're the one wreaking havoc on our world. I'm here to stop you. I'm here to stop Lockheed from becoming the oppressive empire you make it. Your cruel army won't get a chance to conquer the other worlds. I make it an oppressive empire, sending my army to conquer other worlds? Dear girl, you're thinking of Valette. But who oppressed their citizens, banished their dissenters to die a slow death in this wilderness, who ruled with a bloody fist and killed Lockheed's first queen, my love? My war is a worthy one, girl. With a plan to destroy a planet? Use demons in your armies? <clears throat> How else could we achieve peaceful independence? You're just like Valette. Shut up, just try to stop me. Gladly. Is this like a... This better not be like one of those fights where I need like a certain item to like get a certain part of the story. <clears throat> what a... I don't think she's weak against anything in particular. Hmm. <clears throat> It does hurt quite a bit. But not as, like, honestly, the succubus were about the same damage. I just try not to get hit as much, that's all. I don't like the Kamehameha she just friggin' shot out of her ass. Stop. 
Uh, use one of these. Two of those. I'm gonna be mad if, like, this ends the game for some weird reason. I'll be pissed. Hold, please, I... Yield, you are powerful. You weren't wrong. I have been no better than Valette. I never wanted to become this. I came here with peaceful intentions, and then I began to see what Valette had done to Lockheem's people. <clears throat> and so you were on a path to destroying them all and returning Lockheem into a powerful empire? I was blinded. You don't have to kill me to stop this. You banish the leaders of the demons, and I will begin the process of casting the rest out. I don't want a world influenced by them. I don't want to be a military power. How can I trust you? What do I look like to you right now? Broken. My desire for revenge is gone. I just feel empty now. Nell wouldn't want me to kill you. She'd tell me there are other ways. Fine, if you make Lockheed a peaceful place, then I don't need to kill you to change things. What about the Valetians still on this planet? We will make peace. It will take time to spread the word, to remove the war, more warmongering elements of my nation, but it will be done. Good, see that it is. You've made a difference here. Thank you. I won't betray your kindness. We could still use your help, you know. It's easier to make a better world with allies. I have a duty to fulfill, still. My own revenge. Will it be worth the sacrifice? I don't know. Can I have your pink orbs to give me more goodie attacks? Oh, I do get one! Plasma orb! That is sick! What? Warp shard. Okay, so... <laughs> I love new stuff. Let's try the plasma orb. If it's better than the fire orb, well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. I still don't have a better ring yet. Oh, dude. Yes. So much yes. Look at the range on that. Boof. <laughs> Where'd she go? Just gone. At least I can go up right here, too. What's, uh, what's going on here? I can go up there. What the heck's up there? Fine, I'll come back later. I should mark that with a um a red too. Okay, make sure I come back at a later time. Nice, I'm liking the pink orb. That's cool. Wicked cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk it. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but I don't want to waste the warp shard right now. Seems like things are not super weak against the pink orb here. Plasma orb. I'll take the money, though. That's always appreciated in the uh, games, for sure. Birdie. <laughs> How many leather jerkins do I have? Holy crap. Alright, we're good. You know, the thing is about this game, I don't like to really sell stuff. Like, sometimes I'll, like, <laughs> I'll sell equipment to get more money, but I won't really sell, like, items that I can use. Because, you know, you might need them. Yeah, if you're new and you, you like my commentary and you like what you're watching, feel free to uh, follow me on Facebook, like the stream, share the stream. That way you'll know when I go live and it helps me out. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it's been awesome to meet tons of new people and uh, continue to grow the community and grow the stream. So very special times for sure. I stream about two to three times a week. Retro and current day releases as well. So all sorts of good stuff. Wait, could I not go through that, like, weird door right there? Get out of here. 
What was going on right there? See, the, like, there's, like, a place above me that on the map is, like, like, a little hallway or something. Can I not... Can I not access? No access, can I? Oh, that was, like, the, the open area. I'll mark that with a red, too. See how it's, like, open... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> oh, it is... Okay. That's... Oh, okay. I thought it was just, like, an open area that I'd fall to, like, a lower area. So I'll delete that then, because I can access it. That's why I didn't really pursue going this way before. <clears throat> what are you doing up there? need a higher jump to get up there. So I will mark this with a red. Because <clears throat> I don't think I can freeze this projectile and get on it. No shit! Never mind. I, uh, did not anticipate that to work. <clears throat> Color me surprised. Can't get up there, though. More lore. Ocean. I'm assuming I can't go up here. Oh, I can, but there's nothing up there. Alright. Oh, yeah, okay. I was going to try and climb up there using him. <clears throat> oh, damn it. I feel like it wants me to do that, though. Uh... Oh, I did it. Nice. Sweet deal. Familiar. Demon. A devious little imp that loves to cause trouble. That was worth it. What's he look like? Oh, he looks like one of the little wizards. That's awesome. <clears throat> level 8, level 5, level 6. Let's, let's put him on for a while. See what he can do. Did he just, like, punch him? I wonder if he can do magic. <clears throat> Alright, let's get out of here now. There's nothing really uh, I can do right now. <clears throat> I keep forgetting I really don't have to hit the candles because I have the scythe um, orbs on. No! Oh, I wanted that. Well, I'm not leaving without whatever that is. It might be something good. Unlike what I just did to him. Because uh, I needed him. Yes. Okay, more upgrade stuff. Why couldn't I get into that lower chamber, like, below me? Woo! I'm gonna find out. Whoop! <clears throat> Oh, it was that red gate. Oh, 
Oh, it opened because of the orb. No shit. Dude. Elemental beats. That's awesome. I didn't know that that was going to work, but it did. Then again, the orb was being held in that room behind her, kind of like it was something special, so... He does do magic, that's killer. Take that gate up there and get back quicker. Doesn't look like I can... There's not much over here that I can even really... Mark that, because I can go back up there later. With whatever upgrade I find. Water's still not accessible. Um... What did she want me to find? A plasma crystal? He wanted me to find a plasma crystal in the caves. Where the hell am I going to get one of those? There is a spot right there where I think I might be able to double jump. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It, it, like, arcs towards flying enemies, which makes sense in almost all situations. What's going on over here? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you're... Oh, don't kill it, please. Obviously needed him. <clears throat> Not what I was looking for, but still useful. I mean, that's really the thing about a game like this, is like, just filling out the map is how you're going to find more and more stuff. <clears throat> kind of like Super Metroid. Herb. I'll probably stream for like another uh, half an hour, and then we'll continue this series some other day. Like I said, Monday is going to be Sly Cooper, and then later in the month will be Link's Reawakening, and then <clears throat> I'm probably going to finish this at the end of next month. But so far, it's been a really fun ride. Let's see, can you use that in here without dying? <clears throat> oh, I love it. Being at that range and killing that stupid mushroom. <clears throat> what is going on here? I think maybe going down there further is how you, um... get what that dude wants for his next quest. Because I don't see any other monster here that would drop a plasma crystal. Let's go check that room where he was. Like he was saying. I think maybe that maybe that's where I was supposed to go. Oh, it's using magic? I didn't know that. Those lightning bolts use mad like your aura. That's interesting. Luckily, the other ones do not.
Nothing? Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Right now that I don't know where to go, well, let's go back to, uh, probably the present, I would imagine. I can't wait to check out the future. I'm, I'm assuming that will be a thing. Maybe based on what you've done, the future won't end up the way you want, and that's how why you gotta go to the future. I did not know it used, like, mana. I mean, it's fine, but I'm gonna have to obviously keep track of what I'm doing with it. Especially because it's so friggin' useful. Of course it would use mana, because it's useful. Or aura, whatever. <clears throat> Yeah, so I won't be streaming Cyber Shadow anytime soon, but I, I will end up doing that. Um, that will also be a blind playthrough later on, but... Thing is, is that, um... I just think it's really cool how it was developed by one person, it looks as good as it does. So, definitely will be playing that. Level up, nice, for the little minion. Potion. I will say I really like the main character too. Lunai is a pretty cool character so far. Almost there. Ow. I always forget the hammer is a little bit slower than the sword. Turn. Successfully. Their ranks have been thinned. They'll think twice about attacking your camp. I worry that we have not heard from Villette in so long. Are they not making a strike against the portal? We need reinforcements. Maybe they're trying. <clears throat> Lunai, a moment? More things for me to kill? I don't like your tone. <laughs> Nolist has been talking to me, trying to convince me that we shouldn't be still be fighting this war. We have no support from the Empire. But I can't just let it go. Joachim stands opposed to everything I believe in. <clears throat> crying our social order, using demons to take our portal, inspiring to destroy my home. Was Valette much better? They banished the Black Yemi here knowing about the bleakness. And from what I've heard, society back home wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Valette was good to me, and I'm sure the Black Yemi is good to its leaders and officers, but I've seen what empires do to those they see beneath them. Can you really say Valette has done no wrong? It's not mine to say whether to go to war or my job is to fight it when told. Hey, when was the last time you received orders? Doesn't matter. If nothing else, the demons are evil creatures that feed on chaos. They must be destroyed. I can certainly agree with that. 
We assault their greatest warriors then. Weaken them, take out eight of their so-called royal guards in the castle. Let's free this world of their taint. We'll do it. So now I have to go back there later, which I'll do later, but... <clears throat> um, You can upgrade my shit now. Or recovery rate. That is useful. Shield ring, huh? Why not? Why not? Reinforce orbs. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so... We, what we use the most is iron, obviously. Plas I've got three of these, so we'll do blade, we'll do iron, and we'll do plasma. Plasma geyser? That sounds amazing. That's crazy. Missing ingredients. Yeah, no shit. Unfortunately, I wish I had those ingredients. So wait a second. Royal guards... Does it just want me to go back up here again? <laughs> Which I'll do. I mean, if it's something quick. Royal Guards. Royal Guards are the ones that are higher up, am I right? I should equip, um... This one's just gonna have, like, just gonna have me recover aura faster, because that just makes sense. From what it looks like, it looks like there's, like, what, five quests per character? Not like much is going to stand a chance right now, because of just how much stuff I have. Like, those upgrades on the orbs are pretty huge. That's not them. Nope. I mean, I've seen the Royal Advisors. <clears throat> What's the max level in this game? <laughs> I have a feeling they're around here somewhere. There might be them. Um... Oh, that's the advisor. Where the hell's the guards? Unless it's like mis mislabeling what you need to kill. Which I doubt it would. No, royal guards. What the hell? What the uh, royal guards look like? <clears throat> and again, I could check the um, enemies list. Those dudes? Okay. Get out of here, biggin. <laughs> it's basically chaos just drains all your sand. That's a crappy status effect.
I'd like to finish what I can, for sure. Like, that's the way I like to play most games anyway, is just, like, finish what I can as much as I can. Because this is going to make things easier for me. Like, trying to finish it. As you've seen me play in previous games. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> Which reminds me, I gotta start... I'm gonna have to start uploading Secret of Mana to YouTube soon. I'm starting to think of doing, like, batch... batch uploads. So, like, uploading a bunch and, like, putting them on a timer for when they actually, like, go... live or whatever. Because it's just easier to do a batch of uploads than just, like, one. There we go. Hold on. Let's get out of here. I already spent way too much time here before. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Okay. Can I drop down this way? And then head off to the right? <clears throat> yeah, so... I was setting up for Sly Cooper, and the funny thing that happened was I wanted to test it to make sure the disc obviously works, which it does. It's brand new. I've, I've never even touched it. I've opened it, but I've never touched it. And uh, I want to make sure the sound and everything was okay. And uh, so I pop it in the sound. Uh, like, I had to fix the sound so it worked, which it fi I finally did register that it worked. But um, I pop the disc in and I like wanted to make sure the game worked so I started it and immediately when I like I went into the game I had gone into the first Sly Cooper game and it doesn't like just oh you choose a file and you start playing no it starts and it immediately puts you into the game so <laughs> it like popped a trophy like right when I got in I'm like damn it I didn't want to like I've never played it I don't want to like do anything so I just turned off the system and then I went back to the menu to make sure the sound was still working. <clears throat> what you got for me? I killed all your royal guards. Ain't good? Well, it's done. The demons are rooted. The Lachiumi army weakens. Good. I've never been so long without orders. I can lead a unit, but I've never had to make the bigger decisions. I know what you mean. I thought my clan would always be there to help me, tell me what to do. Then when they weren't, I knew I needed to take action. But maybe action without reason. This isn't as simple as it should be, Lunai. Mage mission. Okay, her last mission isn't even available. So, like, she must be done for now? Because it looks like they each have five. Stay kiss. Uh, that one's from the future. The other dude wants a plasma crystal, which I don't think I can do until I get lower in that mine. Remind me what I'm looking for? A plasma crystal. You should be able to find them in the caves where the portal to Valette is. Yeah, but I can't go there. <laughs> At least he gave me some sort of detail. But I need to talk to this dude upstairs. Make sure my controller is not dying. Holy crap, he's alive? Hey, how are you feeling? Thumbs up! He's a brave one, he is. Barely alive and still fighting. What's that? Something to write with? He looks like shit. <laughs> hmm? Shiver Feather, Siren Ink. Yeah, for her pen, sure. I think I got that for him. You got the Wyvern Tears Fabius, you hear that? One Strength Restoring Feast coming right up. Get some tail. <laughs> um, that's good. Apparently I still don't need that helmet though. The advisor hat's way freaking better.
We sell this stuff. Or like what's left anyway. Yeah, I just I thought I had the stuff for him. I guess not. I guess not. So I can go back to the present now. Cause there's really not much I can do right here right now. I can't access below that mine area and or cave area. And still areas I can't go here. I'm like, I'm like comparing the maps here. Because a lot of it is relatively the same area. It's different. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's go here. No, never mind. Let's go here. Well, we're going to go here because I want to like access the uh, library. <clears throat> Man, that looks cool. <laughs> Alright, so obviously need to check that area out. What the heck is that dude? Sweet. Greetings, child. Have you come to worship the Eternal Mother? Who is that? Our goddess, the Eternal Mother. We are all her children. She decides when we live and when we die. When it is your time, may you greet her with acceptance. Okay, that's changed. It's not Ilana anymore. It's just like some weird demon. <laughs> did like, did Lunai become some sort of deity in the past? Is that what happened? Because that's kind of strange. What changed about this future? from the past. And what's the actual future going to look like? I really hope you get to actually go to the future. Well, again, I hope you're enjoying the wealth of historical knowledge that the library has to offer. Okay, so that's not... He doesn't say anything new up here. I can go up there, but what... Can I access that top area, top right corner of the map right there? Let's find out, shall we? That's weird, though, like, that that's changed. I mean, she's got an orb, but doesn't look like Lunai. can make this now. Ooh! We'd met with traders before, but I'd never seen so many people in goods in one place as in the city marketplace. They bustle about on a million errands, merchants shouting their wares and Lakiemi soldiers patrolling the streets in their purple armor. They have declared Wendaria part of their empire now. They rule here. Miss, someone calls. Can I interest you in some fruit from the stars? He's not local, and his wares are unlike anything I've seen before. What is this, I ask, picking up a spiky purple bulb? A Lakiemi sun, sweetest fruit you'll ever eat. It's from Lakiem? He laughs, nothing grows on devastation anymore, but it's from one of the colonies, where I'm from, in fact. I hear a cough behind me, and then a group of Imperial soldiers stands around the booth, staring at the merchant. Though the leader stares only at me, my heart begins to rush. Ah, I'm sorry, officers, the merchant stammers. I meant no disrespect to the homeworld. Don't let us hear you call Lakiem that name again, one of the soldiers says. Merchant nods, but the leader continues to ignore him. He removes his helmet to reveal a young face. And handsome, his hair is bright blue, like all the native Lakiemi. 
The Iwakiemi are said to be quick-tempered, restless, but that blue hair is such a marvel. The officer smiles at me, and my pulse quickens. But this time is not time not from fear. I overheard you ask about that fruit, he says. You have an eye for quality. He's noticed my stare, and I blush. Would you allow me to buy that for you? Everyone should be graced with the taste of a Iwakiemi sun. Which is interesting, because that's what I found in the beginning of the game. And I still have it. <clears throat> Found a gray metropolis. Map downloaded. Ooh. I like it. <clears throat> I like when map gets revealed because it makes things easier to find. Not necessary, but appreciated. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Gold necklace. They got TVs and shit? Essence crystal. There is so many goodies up here. Elemental beads. Okay, so I'm gonna read about these people. Are these, um, Kickstarter backers? Or programmers? Oh, it just changes and scrolls through. That's cool. That must be what it is. Either it's the programmers or Kickstarter backers or maybe kids or family of the developers. Oh my god! It's the hat dude from Shovel Knight! That's awesome! At least I think that's who that is. I stay in the city for several days, hoping to explore and trade. I end up spending much of my time with the Lakiami officer. For all our history, we have been a restless people, he tells me. He's told me much about their history, philosophy, and art. It drives us to explore, to go further into the stars, to seek the unknown. There's so much beauty in the universe, so many unseen wonders. I used to have a drive like that, I say. To be a hero, to be the one my people look up to. I think you still do, he says. There's a fire in your eyes. He leans close, staring into them. I blush a little, but stare right back. So if you have such drive to explore, why are you still on our world, I ask. There's still a lot to see here, he says softly. I want to understand other cultures and perspectives. <clears throat> help bring their ideas into the Empire. I recognize our system is not always perfect. We put a lot of focus on resources and power, but I believe our drive is also towards self-improvement. Or at least, that's how I'd like it to be. A noble goal, but he interrupts me before I can finish. I know. There is still so much to be done. Wisdom to study, allies to find. <clears throat> I continue to stare into his eyes. They are full of passion, but a quieter kind now. His gorgeous blue head draws close to mine. There's such beauty in the universe, wonders to discover, he continues. Such as, I ask, he answers with his lips on mine. Ah. <laughs> I need water, my voice was failing me through half of that. <clears throat> That's better. <clears throat> it's so freaking dry, I can't wait till winter's <laughs> over. Dry and cold. Like, the window I sit by gets so cold that, like, when I'm not on stream, I tend to wear a robe because it's like, it's like wearing a blanket. My robe is, like, massive, and it's, uh, I just, it's so warm that I wear it, like, whenever I'm at my computer. But, it is a robe, so it's like, I'm not gonna just wear a bathrobe on stream, <laughs> it'd be a little weird. Uh, it'd be funny, but strange. <clears throat> okay, so this weird shit. I mean, it's like, this like weird dude. There's all of a sudden like, like cultists here. That's weird. Odd. Wrong way. How do I get back out of here? Place is throwing me off a little bit. There we go. Are there more cultists to talk to? Oh, I'm so switching to the pink orbs. Boop! 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 I still love that background.
Yeah, it's restoring my uh, aura fast enough where it's not really affecting me. Which is good. That's pretty much probably the setup you want for those uh, plasma orbs. Can't open this yet. No dice. The enemies different now? Do the enemies get stronger? No, that would have been cool though. No, he got smoked immediately. <laughs> uh, nothing up here. What's all the way at the top there? There's like a. It was like a room with a dot in it. <clears throat> oh, that's the time spinner, which is now completely gone. <laughs> I wonder if they know where it went. It's just a massive void in the room now. <laughs> okay. Let's cross over this way. You see those two areas down, like, um, like right here? Yeah, I'm curious where, like, what's in those. I know I'm gonna have to deal with these freaking spiders. So yeah, it is like I thought it was going to be. Like, more places to explore. Stupid Roomba robot. Is this a random, like, save point? No, it's right there. Cool. Can't open this. I don't have a B card key. Do I have an A one? No, absolutely not. Why would, why would I think I have things? <laughs> Head downstairs. One more. What's, uh... Oh, that hurts. What the heck do I have to do that relieves that thing? Can't go down that way. It won't let me. I don't have a, um... A specific card key. Yeah, it's B. I can't get in there. Bullshit. B for bullshit. <laughs> Let's check out other areas, though, because something might have changed regardless from, like, the other areas. I almost still have stupid-ass, um, plants. all this roots, right? I can't just go through there, because the stupid roots are there. Yeah. <clears throat> I think we still have some more stuff to do in the past, I just don't know what. I think I've explored, like, everywhere else. Nice. Sealed Caves, 1062 AE. This looks like a cool area. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we'll find out. Music's good, as always. <laughs> Save point. Oh, this is cool. It's, like, broken areas. What's going on here? Skeleton. 
Looks like they took quite the tumble. What's this a key card? Yes. Security card key card B. Sweet deal. We don't know what this one is though. Is this B? This is A. I love how it like activates real quick. Oh, what a nice little touch. So obviously this is where we had to go. Um, this lets us access the B area, like B area. This game is really, really um, great. I've been, <laughs> I've been really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna cut the stream here. Um, we're actually at a good spot to stop anyway. That way, when we pick it up next time, we'll end up going um, to where the B key card areas are, so we can explore those more thoroughly. Um, but yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're new to the new to the page and you like what you watch, you like my commentary, you like my content, feel free to follow me on Facebook, like the stream, um, or like the video, leave a comment if you want to, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.